Miracles from Manacules. True Boardman, much better director than False Boardman. Ooh, Bill Melendez, it's a man-made miracle, Charlie Brown. Was John Sutherland trying to build his brand in a Walt Disney-esque way? Was his ultimate goal Sutherland land? This was a bold direction for United Artists to take with Lord of the Rings. My name is Dan Ferguson. I'm a writer. I carry a badge. My assignment was to explore one of the nation's leading research centers and show the effect of the work done there on all our lives. Which was an odd assignment since I write for Cat Fancy. I got out of my car and started toward the entrance. Well, the film noir narration is certainly putting me in the mood for an industrial Going film. the research headquarters of one of the leading rubber companies in the world. And I didn't even know what made a ball bounce. I think it's sing-alongs. I knew I'd find the answer before I left this place. Well, time to enter control headquarters. The vice president of research was to be my guide in this adventure. Bill Melendez's oh, animation is way more lifelike than I remember. An assignment. What can I do to help? Doctor, I'm here to uncover some of your man-made scientific miracles. For example, magnets, how do they work? In school, I'm a... Uh... A babe in the scientific woods, if ever there was one. I am Good. very much not enjoying oh, how much this guy looks like Matt Gates. Very open, and at the moment very empty. <laughs> I'm what the kids call a himbo. How to start my story. Here's one possibility. It was the best of times, it was the worst of times. But if it hadn't been for what you hold in your hand, we might have lost our national neck in World War II. Synthetic rubber? Precisely. The battle to make man-made rubber... The battle of the bounce. ...the greatest example of industrial teamwork in our nation's history. This rubber guy is the negaverse version of the plastics battle. guy from The Graduate. An ...example of our way of life at its working best. As I sat there listening to the doctor's words... I zoned out profusely because nothing is more boring than the history of rubber. Fortunately for America, one rubber company had been working long before World War II... <laughs> the smoke's moving like a wacky, waving, inflatable, arm-flailing tube man. ...general purpose man-made rubber. This plant produced bouncing ball tests for young animation students. Was producing general purpose man-made rubber. Luigi's flying tires didn't fire. succeed because that was car-made rubber. Important as it was, was just a molehill alongside the 650,000 long tons of rubber the nation used in 1941. Well, no wonder Spielberg Almost went so over budget. 97% came from the Far East. Oh, how racist is this about to get? Japan it is the Far East, and Japan is the sun. Arise, fair sun, and kill the envious moon. The enemy's goal was the rubber lands, and she got them in a few short weeks. The rubber ships stopped coming. Not only our war effort... No, that's just Butte, Montana disguises the capital by Boris Badnov. Sam faced the most critical period of his life. From Uncle Sam works the mixing board at a megachurch. And industry answered. The men in rubber... Men in rubber, alien a clubber. ...and in chemicals, formed a combat team to fight the battle for man-made rubber. It was a battle we had to win. Yeah, that line didn't well, age well over footage of people running into the capital. ...and at home. It was only 20 months after Pearl Harbor that the largest plant for making man-made rubber went into full operation at Port Neches, Texas. With the rubber we needed... The rubber industry has its own mecha koopa? ...high gear and we struck back all over the globe. <laughs> ah, yes, rubber was the weapon that ended the war. I am become rubber bouncer of worlds. We didn't know if we'd make it on time. Doctor, I see what you mean. It was all about rubber. That Hitler was just some nobody. But my next question is, how did you do it? You might say the answer to that is right here. This is the famous wall that Pink Floyd warned us about. Man-made rubber grew out of our work with this material. Just what is it? It's Coruscant. Coruscant. The entire bar planet bar is one big city. You might call it a kind of cousin of rubber. Rubber's the maybe, well, and Coruscant is the George Michael. Related. Oh, come along. I believe we can show you what I mean. Hey, it's a teenage Alfred Yankovic. Get a good deal of the information you want in this film. Ah, uh, not I since How to Use Classroom right Films stuff. has an educational right. film so clearly shown us a different educational film. They're cousins, 
They're chemical cousins all the way. Polyvinyl flexible materials and man-made rubber are closely related in many ways. Through marriage. The first of these polyvinyl materials comes from very simple beginnings. Hey, this real film Salt, ripped its art style off water, from his daydream. Limestone and coke. Pepsi is unacceptable. In the process, oh, it's a descendant of Little Caesar. Water, rabber, rabber. Plus electricity produce hydrogen and chlorine gases. After work, this scientist is going to go get harassed by the Pink Panther. Coke and limestone are combined. That's how they made ginger lime diet Coke. These two gases are then combined in. Remember, kids, always vacuum up your gases and then touch it up with a blowtorch. And cool. And thus converted to liquid form. To be drunk raw by contestants on Fear Factor. Vinyl chloride. The preferred audio format of hipster chloride. A single drop contains literally billions of molecules. Billions of molecules. The okay, I'm of done referencing that. Looks like an orgy at Mr. Chain. DNA's house. The catalyst, like Tom the Hooper's sergeant, catalyst. Who never joins the rookie ranks, still gets plenty of action. All right, you guys, fall in on the devil. Come on, soldiers, take me seriously, the please. The catalyst makes these molecules grow and hook together in long, strong chains. Which Fleetwood Mac this refuses to break. is known as polymerization. Nothing wrong with polymerization as long as you're open and honest with your partners about it. They fuse into Stretch Armstrong. And return. In this case, the process of polymerization results in the material polyvinyl chloride. Polyvinyl this foam alate. But of no practical use until a plasticizer is added. The plasticizer's softening workable. Thus was created a new material known as Geon. Geon Warrior Princess. Products are made. A material which you are getting very plants, sleepy. Not from that hypnosis spiral, just from watching this film. Which contribute to the safety, comfort, and the beauty. Of Wasn't our enough daily to watch life. humans watch this cartoon. Now the we're watching cartoons watch this cartoon. New flexible materials enabled research scientists and engineers to develop further their chemical cousin and to put man made rubber into a host of constructive services for mankind. Surgeon Is this haunted glove actually stretching? Man-made rubber has brought improvements. We've in injected you with 20 cc's of rubber. Your blood is basically a basketball now. Surgical uses. Lighter, higher pressure hoses are on our first line of defense against fire. Fires caused Good by our other chemicals. Sturdy, longer lasting rubber are constantly. God, Splash Mountain's lift hill is in terrible shape. This revamp is long overdue. But despite the literally hundreds of other products for which rubber is used today, as seen in this random tourism ad, production goes into tires. Yes, tires, providing a population product. for strong Badia. Over 40 million cars ride the nation's highways. It'll take 10 million more for it to be quite the achievement, USA. And road safety is greatly advanced. That tire damage doesn't look severe at all. I'm going to go enter a paid parking lot through the exit. The nation's trucks. Tractors, Tractors. And giant construction equipment ride on heavy duty tires. Heavy duty tires roll than ever before. And jet planes land safely on carrier decks thanks to aircraft tires. This isn't so much Top Gun Maverick as it is bottom knife shot. conformist. There are other advances almost beyond number, and always the work goes on to discover. Meanwhile, at the Disney the Ink and Paint Department. Here in this Why is the lab staffed entirely with flashers? Some of the true pioneers of our time. These rubber scientists will all die of dysentery. Microscope, assaulting the horizons of the No, they shut down horizons. And each of their discoveries becomes another milestone on a road which has no end. Much like this they film. They continue their task of converting the dreams of yesterday to the realities of tomorrow. Welcome to the realities of tomorrow. Oh, thank you, Frank. Wrong Yankovic. Did you find enough ideas to get a start on your story? If I ever had any doubts about the importance of research, you've taken care of them once and for all. Well, I'm glad. Yeah, I also get super agreeable when I have to pretend I was paying attention. Well, there's one thing I can't impress on you too strongly. Rubber's really Still boring. only on the threshold in almost every scientific field. So see if you can light even more fires of scientific enthusiasm in our young people. Light the building on fire, that's an order. In the research scientist of the future 
lies our great hope. Medicinal science is trivial compared to fake rubber science. Don't worry, Doctor. That'll be in the story and letters that high. We kill an entire forest for each Thank issue you, of this paper. You've been most helpful. My pleasure. Oh, I almost forgot. There was one final question. This guy's a terrible Columbo. Me, what makes a ball bounce? Well, I'll tell you. We've learned to make a plane fly faster than sound. Quit evading the question. We create all sorts of new products and materials. Some of us have even learned to split the atom. But there's one thing not one of us knows. What, what makes a ball bounce? <laughs> Do me a favor. What the... If you find out, let me know. That's the deal. Goodbye, then. Goodbye. Yeah, sucker, we know what makes a ball bounce, but I'll never tell him. Hey, where the hell did my kid go? Sponsored by B.F. Goodrich, but without the decency to have Harry Von Zell annoying George Burns. Well, those were the man-made miracles, I guess. I don't know, I was really expecting parting the water or walking on water or making wine out of water. Anything involving water, really, but uh, I guess fake rubber's cool, too. But, you know, at least we all got really invested in making sure that guy found out what makes a ball bounce before we left. And then our hopes got dashed against the rocks. Now the real miracle is how a guy like me gets videos made at all. And the secret to that miracle is I couldn't do it without the help of my patrons, both due to their financial support and also in the case of riffs like this, their help in brainstorming jokes for the rip. Over a couple of live streams, I watched this really, really, really boring short with my patrons, and these patrons in particular all came up with observations and quips and brainstorms that helped me really focus and figure out what to make fun of in this incredibly boring short. Did I mention that fake rubber is really boring? In fact, my patrons are so good at it that we came up with way too many jokes to fit in this short. And if you go to Patreon right now, you can see deleted and alternate jokes from this very rip. Also on Patreon right now, you can see this month's obsession of the moment about one of my favorite web series based on one of my favorite books. A web series that is a decade old now, which, you know, doesn't make me feel ancient at all. Thanks for watching, everyone, and hopefully next time we'll actually learn something interesting. But I'm not counting on it. Either way, until then, this is Dave, signing off.